me just swap my audio over. Eh. Such a fun noise. Wow, people are like, oh, I'll catch a stream. Eh. Oh, he's he's one of those guys that pretends to throw up. That's awesome. Great. I'm leaving now. Uh, oh my god. He's beautiful. We must build the bridge at once. I, I'm having an unbelievably good time. Okay, this is a whole new thing. Oh, it's all, it's all the fish are flopping around because the tide went out. I'm not moving right now. I'm using pure Dendori energy I learned from the master. Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Could not have cut that closer. Gunk busters. Yo, anybody out there busting some gunk right now? Amen, brother. I wonder if this thing crushing a bunch of ice pikmin counts as it eating them. Oh shit. This is gonna be very scary because the instant it unfreezes, we gotta get out of there. Get I'm pressing B. I literally was hitting the B button. There was no like, oh, maybe I'm hitting the wrong button. I'll switch over. No, I, that was I just was mashing the same button over and over. It was like four pikmin. I've had like three moments like that in my entire time playing this game where I'm like, the game just like stopped accepting input from me. Seafloor Resort, what beautiful scenery. Is this like a little diorama? No, it's like a little aquarium. That's very cute. Is that a rubber nipple? It's a baba. There's a baba the bottle. I think the baba is the bottle. I'm not, I'm not familiar with baby slang. I love like fake natural environments that are very obviously fake. Uh, Great Wolf Lodge aesthetic, mini golf course aesthetic, that one part in Psychonauts 2. The reason I went to the Great Wolf Lodge was because my friend, my friend's sister was at like some sort of like equestrian conference or something. It was like a horse girl meeting. They were like, oh yeah, we can have a plus one to the Great Wolf Lodge. Do you want to come with? And I was like, hell yeah. And they give you like this little magic wand that's like made out of plastic wood. You go around and you like touch it to paintings and then paintings like move around and talk to you. It was all very, it, you know, another one to add to the list, Rainforest Cafe. Real teeth? No, no way. Definitely fabricated. Be fucked up if there was, like, what if you just uh, didn't, I think there was a skull in Pikmin 2, right? Some sort of like monkey looking skull. Final sub level. Looking boss like. Frog? Uh, frog? It's like a really big, oh my god, it's very large. Oh my god. This is awesome. It was made for this stream. It like makes a little puddle too. I think some boys have been lost, yeah. I just freeze them one more time. Beautiful. And does, does doggy bash? Oh my god, it does. Doggy bash on the ice. Might be extremely powerful, I just realized. Get the dog in on this. Oh, a simple plum. Or perhaps a pluot. I love that whoever named the pluot was clearly just fucking around. Like they were just having a laugh, and everyone went along with it. I'm scanning the area. Right, if I get off the dog while I'm in the water, the, uh... The yellows will just hang on to the dog, which is so good. Listen to that. <laughs> That's so cool. There is a significant chance that Captain Malamar is here. Keep an eye out for him as you explore. And this is where we were in the prologue. So I gotta, oh my god, there he is. There she is. Oh my god. Oh shit. Please don't steal my Pikmin. No. <laughs> what the dog doing? What the dog doing? Oh my god, what if you freeze and then rock? I thought that was gonna be a lot better than it was. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, get back here. Oh Jesus. Duh. Are oh, these guys from Pikmin 3? <laughs> oh, I feel bad now. Dead, now collect it. No. So sad. Ooh, what kind of fucked up Roomba is this? Damn it. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh, they were eating. Oh, they were eating good. Pikmin fans are eating good tonight. Let's real quick ram into this because this is probably a treasure too. Nope. Uh, it is a treasure. 
it's not the kind of treasure I was thinking. This this little fella is a treasure though, and he's dead. It's the bunker. Oh god. Just brute force the solution. Oh. Where's the one? Oh shit. <laughs> Barely got him! I think I'm ready to go. Uh, should I just do one night expedition? Let's just do one. Just get these out of the way. It's a little underwhelming. I mean, I'm sure these are gonna get way harder. But of course, with all the buildup where it's like, oh, we can't even like try going out at night. Oh, it's the final smash in Smash Brothers. Then in the actual game, when you finally get to go out at night, it's like, oh no, there's some bulborbs. Oh no, it's only dangerous if you're a fucking luminol. I think Ochi's, Ochi's got these leaf guys under control, honestly. Alright, like, it's playing the scary music, but Ochi's got him, yeah. Oh, shut up. Stop. This was, yeah, a joke. I'm pretty sure if I kill those guys, then the night just ends automatically, but... We don't even need to. <laughs> they just leave. The second they see the first ray of sunlight, they leave. Chet From Mahama! Okay, the blue one is under attack. There's another one that's just a bunch of little enemies. Oh god, oh, they're actually doing a lot of damage, aren't they? Oh my goodness gracious. Uh... I thought this was the one that I sent you to protect, Ochi. Shit. We're fucked here, I think. Oh, get up, dog. Dumb dog, you made me look bad. Yeah? That that much health is good. Well, that was close. But I did get it. Something that I heard off stream is that the cards that you find are randomized and they make up the code that goes to the safe. So every basically every copy of Pikmin is personalized, of so Pikmin 4. I do wonder if you could brute force the solution like, it would, of course, be way, way harder than just actually getting the cards. And more time-consuming, but... It's like, okay, you're doing your Pikmin 4 speedrun, and, you know, the times... The, 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 the world record is decreasing by smaller and smaller amounts each time. It's like, oh, we need a major breakthrough. How about... We just go for the ultimate RNG play. And in... Pikmin 4, when you get to this part, just go up to the safe and just start, like, putting in, like, five or six codes to see if anything sticks. And then... <laughs> if it doesn't, then just reset. <laughs> and just do that for your whole lifetime, because you're never gonna get that lucky. It's like, hey, pick up all this shit. Can I have the soap dispenser? The sponges? The fucking... Does this... Hold on. Can I, like, bash this out of the way? No. Earth, 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 earth. This fight is awesome. Oh my god, these drawings are of the other areas. Why are they all doing that? Why are they all doing that, though? Huh? I don't know why all my Pikmin just went to one very specific spot. Ah, there's a cave on the TV stand. Weird. All oh, this is complete, we just need... Oh, hey! Oh, it's a Game Boy! Uh... <laughs> Shit. We need the dog for that. Are you the doppelganger? This is your den? It's just a big one of those gold guys. And that's- it's like sending out a fake signal, I see. Uh, destroy the gold. Kill. Use a spray for every single boss that you fight in the game. What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh my god, the charge is so fast when you have spray. Oh. Can we just kill him? Let's kill him. Jesus. Okay, we gotta hit. It's like that one boss in Mario Galaxy. We gotta hit his weak spots until they pop. <laughs> yep. Spicy spray makes quick work of that. Okay, maybe we'll encounter Moss. We already did. We literally already have. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Oh my god. This is the best guy ever because he's got the Dandori challenges. <gasps> oh. oh yeah. Damn, two of these we first try platinumed. You know what? That one doesn't actually have the amount that it needs to carry it, but look at how they're making it work. 
They're pushing it through. That's so hot. Now we just get the rest of the guys to go get the gold, and we're golden. Or should I say platinum? Dendori genius? Me? No. No, no. I'm too cool and humble to accept that title. What? Huh? Um, hitboxes? My friends? Hitboxes? Are they real? Does any, has anybody ever actually seen a hitbox? I'm resetting this. That was bullshit. Did you see how it just, like, bit air and then Pikmin were just in its mouth? <laughs> Whatever, this route's better anyway. Uh, send dog. Go, dog, go. Go, 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 go. I, there's only one A button on the controller. What is happening? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> what? All I did that entire time was hit the A button uh, probably about 50 fucking times. <laughs> the little small round black button with the letter A on it. I, I don't know. Apparently there are other steps involved to pressing the A button that I'm not familiar with. Are we good? Boom. Salvaged it. That's so fun. Even though there was like a solid like 10, maybe 20 entire seconds where the game mechanic just refused to work. My leader is probably not doing anything right now. In fact, oh, uh, my, my Pikmin are getting annihilated by bubbles. Good job, guys. Killed by a fucking bubble. Might be a bit of a close call here. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my lordy. Close one. I did it though. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I saw that Ochi has special dialogue. Or the, the NPCs have special dialogue when you try to talk to them as Ochi. It's very cute. If you talk to the, like, uh, customization guy, he's like, Oh, Ochi, you're already perfect. Doggy, stay. Doggy, you're awesome. Don't take your eyes off the luminol. Dude, my dog is awesome. He'll guard it. We'll go woof. And all the bad guys fall down. Is that really not it? There's more? You! <laughs> you bastard! Kill! <laughs> oh my god, guys. The streamer. Her eccentric style hasn't quite caught on. Hmm. Yeah, she rented out like a baseball field and had like a clown baseball game. It was very strange. Very avant-garde. Santy! Oh my god, Santy Claus! Santy Claus! Oh my god, Santy Claus. I want toy soldiers. Thank you. Do we have... Oh, it shows it on screen. Seven and five. So could I not just... Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Brute force. I ruled out two of the numbers. Hey, Lamau. Four dead Dory! I must admit your abilities have impressed me. But let us settle once and for all who's the Dandori master. Me. Uh... What do we got here? He never- he's so bad, like, he never picks up these, like, orbs. Oh, really? Glow Pikmin, okay. This is a sneak bomb, a forbidden bomb. Transport it to your opinion's onion- opponent's onion to lower their points. Opinions? Oh, Dendorium. Dendorium? Oh my god, it's like Copium, but Dendori. This is gonna change my dialect permanently. <laughs> oh, hi, dude. Yeah, anyway, about that. Get a load of this! <laughs> this is chaos. Oh, they're just gonna let it happen. You're pretty good at this thing. <laughs> he sucks! And now I can collect all his fucking dandorium. Let's get the golden pear. What do you got in your mouth? What, what did you eat? Spit that out! Spit that out! <laughs> Destroyed. Oh my god. That bomb is so funny. They just keep adding ways to fuck over your opponent. If I had Dendori abilities like yours, maybe I could have found my way home. He was a scrub at Pikmin 1. I am Captain Olimar. 
It ran away. What do you mean it ran away? Grab it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, please. Like, everybody... Okay. We don't have enough to fucking get this. Don't they kind of look like Ochi? Very cute. There is a love of dogs baked into the code of this game, I think. Like, dog just doesn't- doesn't just feel like marketable, plushy, gimmick character. Oh, and there's a new base here. Oh my god, sand flies. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, group up. Nah, group up like that. That's awesome. <laughs> You know, what would be really devastating is if you all stood in the same spot, or perhaps a large line. That would really hurt me. Louie. I love how there's, like, Louie hate going on in chat. I speak no hyperbole when I say... Louie is, like, the main antagonist of the Pikmin series. Genuinely an evil character. Like... He is mean-spirited, greedy... Selfish, uncaring. He's not a sensitive lover. Uh, oh. Hi, buddy. Whoa. I liked the weird little musical cue that played when it... Really? Oh, God. The fire did not go out. Oh, that fire went out. Oh, but it tried to eat it. Fucking imbecile. Oh. No? That didn't actually do anything. Okay. This- this is a pathetic creature. Uh, oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> we're in the dwindling hours of the day. But Ice Pikmin Onion, that's... How exciting. This is all very cute, but I- and I think the thing on a lot of people's minds is... What the hell is this house? Is, are we gonna get an answer as to if this is post-apocalyptic or not? Because Pikmin 1, in particular, made the world feel very post-apocalyptic, and then, ever since then, it's been like, we see more and more, sort of like... I guess Pikmin 3 didn't have a huge amount of, like, hints at human society, but 2 and 4 have a ton. Okay, moment of truth. Is it Olimar, or is it Olimar's mom? I think that was a character in the first game, right? Oh my god! Uriba. Where'd his helmet come from? Like, how do you get his helmet back? I am Captain Olimar of the great SS Dolphin. Yeah! Magnet for bad luck. We could use some of the profits to buy you a new ship, and while we're at it, let's get the SS Shepherd plated in gold. Pikmin 2 reference. Copy that. Yeah. Fuck everyone else, leave immediately. Well, which one is it? Are we gonna fuck everyone else, or are we gonna leave immediately? This is the... Pikmin 2, like, you beat the game, but not really, I think. This is like, if you're Babby, then congratulations, you beat the game. If you want the real challenge, you press on. And they all get obliterated by the jet. Halle. Halle. And then a meteor hits them. And then ten meteors hit them. Yeah! One last fuck you to all the meteors in the universe. Yippee! Yeah, here's your fake credits. This is an unbelievably polished experience, and I'm glad that this is, uh, for a lot of people, their entry to the franchise, because I think it's a very friendly entry, and, uh, but I think it also... Pikmin 3 was a bit, like, neutered in a way. It, like, left- it lost some of the sort of brutality of Pikmin. This one has, like, just- just right. Nice mix of the cute, charming, light RTS and brutal life lesson about loss and death. Oh my god, they're beating the shit out of that guy. You gotta wonder if we're gonna get- uh, wouldn't it be whack if we got DLC for this game? Or, of course, a follow-up, some kind of Pikmin 5. That would be insane. I know it's like, oh, you're not even done with Pikmin 4, I'm already talking about Pikmin 5. But with the series selling well, or this game selling well, you gotta wonder. Oh my god, Louie. I knew he was here. The main villain. He's literally evil. Did you see how the Pikmin, like, ran away when he showed up? Oh, yeah. He's gonna team up with homophobia. 
<laughs> what kind of dastardly tricks is Louie gonna get up to in this game? Like, that must be- that must seem so weird to people who have not played a Pikmin game, but yeah, one of the main characters of 2 is, like, legitimately the main antagonist of the series. <laughs> it's not even a joke. Louis knows how to make, like, an IED explosive. Like, he made a bomb in Pikmin 3 and stole all your juice and called you a bitch. I, I would say this game was not, like, at least so far, was not exactly perfect. A lot of the dialogue, like, by, by this point, I've just started skipping a lot of the dialogue scenes, because... I don't know. It's like mildly charming. And then there was a very slow beginning of the game, which is typical for Pikmin games, but I wish that they had found some sort of workaround to that. Mario Club. Is it is it no longer Super Mario Club? I thought it was Super Mario Club. Maybe Mario Club Co. Limited is is different. Mario Club Company? Is that what that means? And oh my god, grapefruit! I'm in the credits! That's awesome! I made this- I forgot to mention that I made this game. 31 out of question marks, 28 days... A lot of that, I mean like half of that is the nighttime missions though, which which saddens me. Again, tiny gripe, I wish that, that you could do a night mission without just consuming an entire day, but whatever. 169 lost, 1,206 remaining. Got tons of sparkly, I'm nice, nice, nice. Killed 776, Jesus. Zero white Pikmin or winged Pikmin deaths. One purple Pikmin was lost. <laughs> it, it really just did the beginning of the Star Trek riff. Ah, oh, you're going into warp. Suspend the warp. It, it really was called warp. Oh, the doggy's sick. He wants to play more Pikmin 4. <laughs> Louis gonna just fucking eat Moss. They're gonna show up there, and Moss is gonna be dead with, like, just ch chunks carved out of it. And Louis just gonna be sitting there eating it raw. That's fucked. He's happy! Doggy! <laughs> Check out my ass! Organisms growing these leaves are seemingly unable to leave this planet. Leave? Oh, we got an extra guy too, so we're administering the cure. He was- so- <laughs> when we left, when we- when the game- when it like rolled credits, we had the cure, we had the medicine, and this guy was just laying on the ground and we just flew away. <laughs> and we were gonna leave his ass here, that is so fucked up. Uh, okay. Oh, now I can go talk to Odima. And I have been slightly spoiled on the fact that this is a, like, Olimar side quest. Where you, like, do Pikmin 1, but in this game, swallow. Oh my god, he's gonna teach Ochi how to be a glizzy goat. Oh, boom. That's so amazing. <laughs> Ochi has now become the ultimate being. Ochi. <laughs> Ochi's, like, looking like he's thinking about eating these guys. Now that Ochi has learned swallow, he's like, mmm. The heel seems not very good. Ochi, heel. <laughs> scrummy bone! Hey babe, can I get a scrummy bone? Oh my god. <laughs> this is basically a retcon, like, retelling of the first game's story. Where you only do 15 days to collect 30 ship parts, and... It's got Pikmin 4 mechanics. To find the missing ship parts, I'll enlist the help of the Pikmin. Oh, he already knows about the Pikmin? <laughs> oh, this is a big boy. I was like, why does he- there's like some weird perspective going on here. No, that dude's fucking huge. Dude, you look huge. Oh my god. My god. They brought it back. <laughs> Here's what I want. <laughs> is... Like, okay, Funeral, Freebird's playing, Natch. You got Freebird starting up. You got like the first like three minutes of Freebird or whatever. And like, right when the guitar solo starts, I want, and I want this live streamed by the way. I want somebody, so Skydivers are above the cemetery and they've got my body in a coffin and there's like a very well-trained Skydiver who's like strapped to the coffin with like whatever thing that he can like, Detach at a moment's notice. Right as the guitar solo in Freebird starts playing. 
they just push it out. They push the coffin out, and the guy like guides. He's in like a wingsuit with like the webbing, and he glides and gets the, <laughs> the coffin to line up with a big hole in the ground. It'd dig like kind of a big grave. It'd be a little extra work, but whatever. Just so they can be accurate. <laughs> and then it sails down and uh, crashes my coffin directly into the hole. And the guy can break away. The skydiver can, can run away when he needs to. And my family is sitting like five feet away from the grave too. So like there's, it's like there's like a splash zone. This is getting too fucked up and I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> oh shit. Hey buddy. Uh, we saw one of these before, right? Didn't we? Okay, we gotta learn, is he a friend? Could he be a friend? Oh my god, he died in one hit. No, that was the butterfly. <laughs> is he the kind that smacks your Pikmin into the ground and uh, makes them flowers? Come on, flower him. Oh my god, he is. I love this guy. He's the best guy. Now, now we can kill him. This homophobic fuck. Oh my god. Scrubby bone! Oh my god, Doggy can actually get that. Oh. <laughs> A Pikmin tried to bring me the bomb rock, and he saluted as he died, and he was like, For you, sir. This sacrifice will not be forgotten. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, and then he's gonna run right into it like a dingus. And he fucking, he dug out my Flarlic for me. Get fucked. Evolution really was, was feeling weird when it made these. They don't seem to have the best self-preservation instinct. Throwing very heavy or dangerous objects at their own head. Whistle that makes Pikmin line up. Oh shit! This is this is the dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh. I can't believe they did that. They didn't they didn't bring back the exact riff. They did something even better. They made a new one. <laughs> oh god, they're pushing me off. Okay, what kind of japes are here? There's no way I can just have this. Which one of you uh yeah, you can see its eye. Look. <laughs> uh. Oh, that was bad. I can do, like, I know that wasn't perfect, but I kind of pride myself on having a pretty excellent 60s Star Trek uh, TOS, like, radar sound effect. Okay, no, I could bring the fire up here. Oh my god, Moss just sneezed. That was so cute. Homophobia, so kawaii. Does the dog get... Oh my god, the dog gets... I, was, I thought it was just gonna get stopped in place. It gets, like, fuck. Ah, help me! Dude, what the fuck? This is not... Is this an entirely new enemy? I, I don't remember this shit from Pikmin 1. I don't think it, like, stomps them. Oh, and I can just, like, hit its... The JJ straight up. Straight up. Hold on. Oh my god, wait. Uh... Do I yeet a bomb into this? Oh god. Damn it. Whatever. Well, just bomb it. No. Oh! I forgot to- okay, I think it's dead. You have to hit B and, or else you still throw more bomb rocks. Oops! Yeah, oh wow, I do not like the wiggle and wisdom of the- the lips. <laughs> the labial lips. Okay. Oh. Ooh, is that a, uh, emperor? Sacrifice one Pikmin, yeah! Classic. I would kind of expect this guy to be at the end, but whatever. Did he lick it up? Yeah! Now get him, boys! Just like Pikmin 1. Whew. And we got the little piggy bank! Oh my god. So, to those of you who didn't play Pikmin 1, this was the final boss and final treasure of, uh, or final ship part of Pikmin 1. Can I actually, uh... No. That'd be cool. Actually, can I do that? Oh, so close. Oh, so close. <laughs> You're serious? Come on, no, this is stupid. We need 23 parts 
to unlock the house area. So I'm assuming that that is just going to be a boss, and it's probably scripted loss. What happens when the days hit zero? It'd be very painful. Did I accidentally toss yellow in there? Oh, but he's going to get bubbled safely to shore. All according to plan. Wow. It really is beautiful having perfect Dindori. I kind of want to huck a bomb into this. Oh, you know what? Ice bomb it. <laughs> oh my god, oh, this is gonna be so stressful, because it's right- it's on the frame, but no, I fucking hate this. It's like a frame before it closes, that was a waste. <laughs> oh my god! Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Oh, we're, we're just gonna do the tutorial again. Basically. Well, this is very odd. I was kind of assuming maybe it would, like, set this up and then fade to black or something, but no, we're just doing this. Yep, same guy. Will he go down like a little bitch like he did before? Yep. Hmm. Oh, that's, like, messing with their signal? Weird. Is this a lore crucial creature? Oh, now I can send the distress signal. I see. Oh my god. Uh, Man at legs? Is that you? Yeah? yeah? That's just there. I don't know. Should I get yellow Pikmin for this? Fuck. You know, having the dog is gonna be nice for this. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. This is fine. This is fine. Uh... Oh god, it's still going. <laughs> okay, please. Just keep it going, just keep going. Kill it, kill it. Whew. It's done. My ship is perfect. Yeah! I like that it looks just as complicated and weird and fucked up as it did in the original game, too. A lot of later depictions of the dolphin were, like, simplified. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Such a cute little scene. Oh, they're doing- they do this at the end of Pikmin 1. Please- okay, please let the window be closed. And he just goes like... And just bangs off of it. Moss had snuck onto the ship. Wait, did that happen? Moss was out there when we were looking at him. Okay. Same reason they went back in the main game. Oh my god, and then he died. And got bad end. Okay. There's that scripted L for you. <laughs> well, it's neat to see this confirmed. Oh my god, that little... <laughs> there he is! It's not exactly how it happened in the original, but close enough. Okay, well... That was a little underwhelming. I was kind of expecting some big out of the plasm wraith to come out and slap the ship out of the sky or whatever, but that works too. When I first became a leafling, I remember seeing a very interesting looking cave. It must be around here somewhere. Oh. 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 So the Dandori challenges we don't do as Olimar. All right, this is what we were, this is the reason we did all that shit. Oh, it's nice to have Ochi back. The 10 Dandori challenges. I'm the old man. Sage Leaf. I've grown tired of awaiting your arrival. It's the president. You wish to become my apprentice? Say no more, I am able to see all. I am what you might call the great master of the art of Dandori. He's why they're all Dandori pilled. <laughs> <laughs> that one guy broke the wall and then instantly got taken for a ride. Yeah, Dandori Challenge DLC would be epic. There's that big guy there. Should I just, like, distract him while they're running by, maybe? Hey, look at me. I'm a distraction. I'm a distraction. Is this really a good, like, way to do this? I don't know. They're, like, stuck. That sucks. Really, guys? Okay. Oh my god, what Miyamoto said that the Dandori DLC is in development and nearing completion. Oh. That's huge. <laughs> there is nothing cuter in this damn world than a winged Pikmin carrying a single cherry. Oh! 
white onion. Up on the dog. <laughs> Thankfully, the Pikmin do survive there. Uh, dog dig. Me get off the dog. Dog eat. Don't. Uh. Oh shit. <laughs> I love the way Ochi looks at me when I call him when he's got fucking the eight ball in his mouth. I kind of didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the winged pigment just come right back up. That's funny. <laughs> A white onion. Mine. At last. And that's so broken, because then you can just farm white Pikmin and get like a hundred of them and just feed them to a boss. <laughs> the hatches are open. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Is that my only chance to like get that? Oh my god. That's fucked up if you, like, need to do that. And now, will that lower that wall? Cool. Uh. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> I'm glad that was not a, uh, one that I needed to redo, although it was a quick one, and that was a cool one. I love that these are, like, weird and gimmicky. These are very, very cool. Ah! Uh, do perps, like, make, like, a big... AOE? Oh my god, they do. Because these things have one HP. That's cool. Oh, it's gonna be right down to the fucking wire. Ah. Come on, take a big slurp. Yes! Woohoo! My heart is pounding. Okay, one more. And I'm assuming it's a Dan Doozy. What the fuck was that sound? Um. I hear boss music. Oh, hello! <laughs> okay, let's just... yep. Oh god. <laughs> oh, oh, he took a sharp turn! Stop blocking them, you fucker! God damn it! <laughs> this is very scary. Hey, Water Wraith, wanna do me a solid? Thanks. Alright, now go, doggy. Go doggy, go doggy, go. Go doggy, go doggy, go. Go doggy, go, go doggy, go. Oh. Keep throwing them, cock. Because now the doggy's not going to like that. No, doggy's not going to like that at all. He's going he's gonna to hold his own because those guys die in one hit, but... Okay, doggy. Yeah, come this way. <laughs> oh my god, we froze him just before... That perp got hit. That's funny. Yeah, we're out of time. I just, like, looked at the clock. Close, though. <laughs> no, doggy, no! <laughs> it's fine. He's just gonna eat it again and keep walking! <laughs> uh, very scary. No, doggy, no! <laughs> Where is he? He's not even close. He's very confused. Okay. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Do you think we should try to bring them back to the surface and cure them of their leafiness and make them, like, neuter their Giga Chad Dendori expertise? This one seems different from the other leaflings. If they want to stay here, then we have to respect their wishes. Internally, the part of this guy's brain that's not taken over by, like, the cordyceps fungus is screaming. He's like, No! Don't leave me here! It's hell! But his body moves against his will. Oh, we're gonna get to watch two of these cutscenes in a row. The onion is gonna look messed up at the end of this, and I happen to know that there's also ice, winged, and rock Pikmin onions as well. Didn't we get the ice one, actually? Or did I see it and then not grab it? Three onions, uh, what, not, like, just barely half an hour into the stream. And... Three more onions have been gained. This thing is an abomination. Oh shit! What game is that? Oh, that's uh. Which I actually have played and want to stream because it's fun. Sorry, sorry. No, it's kudu 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 kudu. 
Not pooty pooty pooty. Yeah, it's the spinning fucked up bird game, exactly. You have such a way with words, chat. It's possible that with perfect Dendori we could complete this area today. Oh, no shit. <gasps> now put more guys on it. Oh. It goes faster. That's so cute. Mario! That's so nice that that did not jank out. Oh fuck, there's a Dandori cave up here. How is there a cave on- what? God. HD bread bug. <laughs> The music is even very Pikmin 2-y. The little sound effects. Walking around on this. That's so good. Passionate about sedimentary rock and geological features. But avoids its messy counterpart, dirt. <laughs> Loves rocks, hates dirt, okay. Cool character. Yeah, just everybody get that, fuck it. Soccer ball. We're like inside a kid's bedroom right now. It's like the FNAF 4 house. So we can just- no, go get him. Yeah. Kill. Kill! <laughs> What's happening? Oh my god, they need to build the bridge before they can carry it back. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! God, with one piece of the bridge left. Here he comes. Here he fucking comes. I was trying to hit all three of those guys there. How do they administer the cure, do you think? Okay, it sounds like they eat it. But that's lame. They inject it up their assholes. Scrummy bone. Look at Ochi. Ochi is not paying attention. Is that a Yoshi egg? Oh my god. Oh. Ah. That's not Yoshi. <laughs> that's not Yoshi. <laughs> That's not Yoshi. So I have my suspicions about what is inside that egg. I'm like 90% sure I know. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh god, no. Oh. Egg. <laughs> okay, this is better give me a, pe a little pearl for 100 Pikmin at the end. Oh my god, world of light. Wait, it's got a mouth? It's little, like, front sphincter is its mouth. Okay, it's the smoky prog. They brought him back. This was the guy that when they did World of Light, <laughs> for some reason, like, all the advertisements and all the things explaining what World of Light is, the first one that they showed was the smoky prog. So this thing, uh... It's, it's kind of a, uh... Water Wraith type beat, where if it walks over your Pikmin, uh, they die. And that little trail that it leaves behind it kills Pikmin as well. Nice. Well, that was easy. <laughs> it's a good thing I have Glow Pikmin for that. Another classic guy from Pikmin 1. Now we just need the Puff Stool. This is fine. This is fine. Oh my god, wait. It got frozen by the Icy Bulb Orb? Are you kidding me? That's a cool interaction. We are fucking under attack. Oh god, that was bad. Oh god, there's another prog. Uh, everybody come here. Uh, this is fun. Oh god, what are you doing? No, don't, don't puke the thing. Don't puke- oh god. <laughs> That's new. Oh no. I think we did it. Oh, and that's for flowering a bunch of Pikmin, okay. Fine. I'll take your dirty money. Anyone else have any donations? Oh, they're all, they're all just hanging on to raw materials. Like, no dude, help the mission. It, we're all in this together. Please give me stuff. Why do you only care if I bloom flowers? Uh, do you want people to die? There's a yurt in the background. Yurt! Uh huh, huh. Grillin'. Whoa. Louie! <laughs> is- th that's not Alf, is it? It's a copite! Oh my god. I could tell that that character was gonna be important because you could see through their helmet. That is just beautiful. Look at that plucking efficiency. That is plucking efficient. 
It's so funny. Words that sound like swear words are so funny. Because it's like you're cussing. I was going to leave all the white Pikmin behind? No, we're going to fight it with exclusively white Pikmin. Do you want to know how we're going to fight it? You want to you know my method? Oh god. Come on. Take a big chomp. Can he not actually eat them? Nice, very nice. Okay, he sucks, though. Like, he sucks. He cannot, like, I'm trying so hard to feed my Pikmin to him. And he sucks. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. No, that, that doesn't really look like Alf. It kind of looks like Alf. Maybe you got a redesign? Hot Sandy Duel. Oh my god. You fight Louie. Doggy, eat it. No. Doggy, eat it. Doggy, eat. <laughs> it's just regurgitating it over and over again. York, Thumb York, grandson of the famous Kopai scientist Dr. Drake and partner of Don Bergman. A lot of good names here. Yeah, sure. Let's go do this. Oh? Yeah? I really can't do that. Okay. Okay. Nice invisible wall. Here they come. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, go get that one red Pikmin, sadly. Yes, he's technically in my crew. They crash landed in there making juice out of the glowing nectar we harvested at night. Hmm. Man, what's going on? Oh, they're they're getting the luminol sap, I see. Look at them all go, oh my god. So cool. Oh, oh ho, 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 with three seconds left on the clock. The little Joy-Con, that's very cute. The little winged Pikmin carrying a little Joy-Con. Uh, it's the simple things in life. Oh shit, Don Bergman, we found him! It's totally not Captain Charlie. Huge day, that was like one of the most fucking Dandori days that, that has ever happened in all of our lifetimes. Yes, including speedruns. Shut up! I remember being seeing Nell being carried off by a giant dog-like creature, yeah. Pico de Gallo? He just said Pico de Gallo, like straight up. Pico de Gallo? Uh, why are there like discount man? I'm gonna be really sad, and it's probably this is probably gonna be the case. I, I guess don't spoil me on it, but I'm assuming that there's similarities to the Pikmin Three protagonists is just not gonna be explained. We'll see though. We'll see. Maybe this game will surprise me and we'll explain stuff like that, but I kind of think probably not, knowing the track record of uh, this series and Nintendo in general. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go raid Spinning Mario. Spinning Mario. Mario, I'm spinning forever.